Greetings and salutations! This is Imperator Vespasian and his trusty sidekick. Hello! Uh, we are bringing you Word Bearers! And these are new additions to what we've, you've already seen for our Chaos Forces. Um, we, just, we do... Um, oh, Slanesh and Corn as Chaos Armies and we're sort of expanding a bit to include um, Word Bearers because they're awesome. And I was planning on doing word bearers for a while because I kind of liked them. And when I saw the Dark Apostle, I thought, you know what? Yeah. Why not? You know, the new Dark Apostle figure. Um, so why not do some word bearers? And it coincided, funnily enough, as I was painting them with the VR game. Yes, it did. Uh, Battle Sisters. Yeah. Sisters of Battle? Terrifying game. What's it called? Sisters of, uh, uh, Battle Sisters. Battle Sisters, yeah. Uh, because you're fighting word bearers in that. And I thought, oh, that's weird. That moment where I had to hide behind that yes. laying down and like, oh no, don't shoot me. Well, you actually take cover. I run out of ammo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and there's like two word bearers bearing down and I was like, oh no. I haven't had an experience like that since the original Halo. <laughs> no, seriously, where you're actually worried in the game. You know, you're actually, well, what am I going to do now? I've got to think my way out of this box. Yeah. In a combat game. Um, and that game's amazing. It's, 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 it's great. Um, anyway. These are the word bearers. Uh, this, well, it's not all the word bearers, it's just one squad. Um, that's the officer for the squad there. Um, I did quite a bit of um, kit bashing to put these guys together. Um, I swapped a few of the helmets out with the original Womble Marine helmet, and I've got one guy with the original. Uh, that's the that's from the um, Black Legion box a spare helmet there which looks very archaic so i've got I did a bit of kit bashing when it came to putting these guys together to try and make them look yieldy rather than the average fair of chaos which is spiky helmets yeah yeah and i've gone in for all bolters um rather than bolter and chainsaw and the veterans well oh god yeah and they're all veterans which veterans are awesome they're dangerous <laughs> yes um so as Veterans, um, they get to place their feet on the ground and fire twice. Um, I don't know if that's actually... I haven't read that in the new edition of the new edition. Um, I don't really care. Yeah. I, honestly... It's not changing, just... just yeah, <laughs> I mean, now they've all got two wounds as well. Um, these are Chaos Marines, so they all have one wound, but new edition, they have two wounds now each. Because they've changed everything again. Um, as we were just talking about Kill Team, um, it's a bit like bringing it up to level with Kill Team a bit, kind of making it a bit more, making the original Marines a little bit better than they used to be. Um, so, the, I've equipped them with heavy bolters and I have plasma guns as well. Uh, I don't think this squad has a plasma gun, does it? No. No, it's just got heavy bolters, a heavy weapon guy, and I've got a plasma gun with one of my other squads. And the officer has a plasma pistol, and he's got a plasma pistol. So, decent squad. It's decent, a very good squad. Yeah, and with the firepower, it can lay down twice as much firepower as a standard Astartes squad, or Primaris squad. And with two plasma guns, you could take out a tank with that. You could. lucky enough. Oh yeah, oh yeah, a plasma pistol will, will, will take a tank down. Um, well, no, it won't. It will damage a tank. It will uh, take down half of a dreadnought. Dreadnought has a a, a, a a health, overcharge it. Two, so yeah, yeah, you yeah. got four, four wounds on it. Yeah, that's true. And minus three, so that's good. Dreadnought's only got three plus. There you go. Yeah. Um, right, so... Um, very good little little group. <laughs> it's a decent squad. It's, a, it's, it's got decent firepower. Um, Black Legion, my Black Legion, um, I found that because half of them have chainsaw and pistol, um, you really have to get into combat. Because your, your bolt pistol isn't that good. That's the same problem with my... Uh, calm. Calm, yeah. yeah. They, they're useless. I mean, I, I never really shoot them because I'm too busy running them. Yes, you, you spend all your time running around the battlefield. Same with Black Legion, unfortunately. Um, but these guys, these are a proper stand-up... I've done them up as a proper stand-up and fight squad. So they've all got decent ranged weapons. Plus they've got the veteran special rule, which doubles the firepower. And uh, it, it, they're just a lot more better than the Black Legion troops. 
Uh, plus, that in combat, um, if they get a six, it's mortal. Um, no. They're attacking, so it's like goes straight. To, it, it, it just did instant mortal wound without any save rolls, which is pretty good. Insane. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. You can have more than like two teams. That's a lot. Like, yeah, and they all landed, and you got sixes. You can take out an entire team. Yeah, Cause well, because you only need to take out five. But to most units yeah. to break it, and then it's like, wow, you're just taking that, that entire unit before you got anywhere near you. Yeah. Um, plus, the heavy bolter is going to do damage. Uh, my answer to everything is heavy bolters. Um, heavy bolters are amazing. Um, it is 36 inches. Yeah, 36 inches minus one save. So, not good against Marines, really, but against anything else, Guardsmen, anything, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, right, so. Um, what have we got to say? Well, uh, they've all got two wounds, so you've got 20 wounds here altogether. So that's better than it used to be. Um, I think when GW gave everything two wounds, it was a brilliant idea. And it's really made Chaos be able to stand up to Primaris. Chaos, I don't know, I haven't played it. Um, I, well, I don't remember playing it when they only had one point of health, but I would feel like it would all be All our games, they only had one point of I health. I would feel like it would be impossible to beat Korn if they only had one health. Yes, because they just instantly... Yeah, there's just too many of them. Yeah. And you hit you three times, you've just lost half your... And can't get double attacks uh, when charging, charging, don't they? And they yeah. all charge. So. Yeah, they all charge. So, uh, unless you do what I did and attack Corn. Yeah, like, it attack, works. It works. Berserkers. But then there's attacks behind you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I couldn't do anything about that. And the stone man didn't do me any good. No, no, he shouldn't have gone insane so fast. <laughs> well, no, he only go insane for that one turn. It's because his program's gone funny. Right. So he was back under my control again, but it didn't matter because they broke. So he, f he forgot he was a stone man there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's the one that made you actually lose morale. Yes. Because he killed the last guy that's yeah. not to be killed. <laughs> yeah. That was bad. Um, so, yeah, that's the word bearers. Um, they're, they're pretty good unit to be honest um the at least the way i've put them together you could have your word bearers all with chainsaws and stuff but why do that when you've got corn that's corn's job yeah that's kind of what corn does uh black legion i get that and so many of them there's no point yeah i mean black legion they want to get into the enemy they want to they hate the enemy they, they want to get in there and fight they, they've lost their minds mostly um, word bearers, they've not lost their minds. They believe in their faith. They are still true to, well, the chaos gods, but they're still as dedicated now and as, as centralized as, as, as they, they were, were when they were Swift yeah. And they've held together as a Space Marine Legion, really. Uh, whereas a lot of Chaos Marines have sort of gone their own way. Um, the Black Legion, I, I regard most of the Black Legion as mercenaries, really. You know, no, no one really follows Abaddon or Abaddon. How does, uh, Abaddon? It's Abaddon. Box. It's Abaddon. It's Abaddon in the box. That's why it's quite Abaddon. It just sounds uh, better. Guy Haley's uh, uh, Abaddon. So, um, who follows Abaddon? Um, yeah, uh, I'd say the last books, the last couple of books in the Heresy, um, I actually beginning to like Abaddon. Uh, Abaddon. Um, I actually mean to like the guy. Up until then, I despised the guy. He was a screaming imbecile that just shouted a lot and just wanted to kill people for no particular reason. In the later books, the, the last two books, you actually get to know the guy. You get to, to find out about his childhood. And, and, and he's not insane. He's actually very sensible. Are you able to get Angron? Is that a character you can actually have? Because you can have Gilman. Yeah, Gilman. And you can have all the others, but you can't have a, a, a Angron. Well, you can't have all the others. You can't have... Oh, oh yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't know. I've never seen Angron as a figure. I never looked. I don't play Colin. You do. Because I think the only hero they have is Skybrand. Mm. There's a special independent character. Um, they've got Khan. Yeah, they've got Khan, the, the, the Destroyer. Yeah, Another Betrayer. Betrayer. And um, then someone else does one more. We have. It's not about Khan anyway, this. <laughs> no, it's not. Sorry. Um, uh, these guys, anyway, as it goes, they have the Dark Apostle, which makes them even better. 
because God, imagine if you have the hit them attached. You put to the dark apostle. You stick the dark apostle with this unit, right? This unit now gets a void shield. I know it's not a void shield. Don't complain. It is. It does the same as a void shield. And they also get a reroll hit in combat. Yes, which is. They've got chainsaws, power axes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this squad doesn't have chainsaws. This squad's a heavy, heavy duty squad, um, but they can have chainsaws. Um, you got power axes there. I, I, my other squad's got chainsaws, um, but uh, power axe, uh, pretty good. Mine only minus two. Um, yeah, chainsaw minus Power saw's better, but uh, power axe plus is one to wound, so it, it wounds better. It'll wound on a three against the Space Marine, whereas a Power Sword will wound on a four. Mm. So it swings and roundabouts as to what you arm your sergeants with. Um, although Chainsaws give you a plus one attack. So that's even better. So, you know, it's getting better all the time. Yeah, so you put your Dark Apostle with these guys and you're going to do a lot. You, you're going to be a lot better on the battlefield. Um, a lot then, better. Than you already are. Yeah. Um, I love these guys, they're great. Um, I especially like the bone colour I put, decided to put on them to make them look a little bit more standy outy. Um, you may notice they're a little bit more orange and that's to really differentiate them with corn because we've got a lot of corn troops. A lot, a lot of them. A lot of corn <laughs> troops and so I went for a slightly orange red rather than the dark red that they normally wear because they, they just look too much like corn. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. That's it. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please do a like and subscribe and comment down below what you think of the word bearers. Oh, I also mentioned one more thing, which I should mention before I go. Um, they have a leadership of eight. Is that, is that good? Instead of seven. I guess seven is the normal. Yeah. yeah. And it's plus one leadership. That's quite good. Yeah. And if they have the, the sergeant still alive, they get nine leadership. <sighs> Which is one point better than the average of statis. <laughs> Which is good. Right, anyway, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, it's a goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. Goodbye.